<clears throat> Hello, everyone. How are you doing? Good evening. Hello. Hi, teacher. Hi. Everybody's in a hurry in a hurry because of the audio I asked for that I assigned. You know what, guys, please send the audio to the WhatsApp group because I'm having trouble um, with playing the audios because of the um, type of the of, of file, right? Because of the type is not um, compatible with Windows because they are OGG or something like that, the audio. Vale, lo voy a decir en español, chicos. Miren, fíjense que pocos me enviaron el audio durante el fin de semana. La idea, <ríe> la idea era que, bueno, ahora pues los vamos a escuchar, ¿verdad? Aunque los hayan hecho ahorita, no importa. Pero este, lo que me está dando problema, pues sí, como no tuve el chance, ¿verdad? Durante el fin de semana solo tengo los otros, eh, pero... El tipo de documento o el tipo de, de, ¿cómo se llama esto? Pues de, de archivo, el tipo de archivo en que se genera en sus celulares no es compatible con Windows. Es un OGG y un OGG, OG, y no lo puedo cambiar porque solo me da esa opción. Entonces, vamos a hacer una cosa. Eh, vamos a cambiar la dinámica porque obviamente no... Tal vez si los hubiera recibido durante el fin de semana hubiera podido yo hacer algo para hacer un listado y poner todo como yo pensaba, ¿verdad? Pero ya que no se pudo de esa manera, la actividad siempre la vamos a hacer, no se libran, ¿verdad? <risa> Entonces, vamos a hacer que cada uno comparta su audio, ¿ok? Cada uno comparte su audio. ¿Cómo lo vamos a hacer? Abajo en su pantalla dice compartir pantalla. A ver, todos tienen ahí cómo dice compartir pantalla. Luego, abajo hay dos opciones. Una dice compartir sonido. Ahí dice compartir sonido para que puedan compartir el sonido de su device, ¿verdad? Entonces, vamos a ir haciéndolo por turnos porque es necesario escucharlos a ustedes, ¿verdad? Entonces, vamos a comenzar de esa manera. Porque quizás la otra manera es que todos lo enviaran al, al, al grupo, ¿verdad? Al, al grupo de WhatsApp. Pero, si da para irlo manejando yo desde acá, pero, ok. Esperemos que todos puedan tener esa opción. Sean todos bienvenidos. Everybody, welcome. Hey, tonight we are starting Unit 3. Woo, yay. We are starting Unit 3, so I think is really we are moving forward, right? So, um, guys, we want to start by taking the attendance, pero preparen por favor su audio, ¿verdad? Preparen su audio porque lastimosamente, repito, ¿verdad? Como no los recibí durante el fin de semana todos, los pocos que recibí, hay dos que no me los lee porque es archivo OGG. Entonces, um, 
no los voy a compartir yo, sino que cada uno lo va a ir compartiendo. ¿Ok? Vamos a, hacer, a cambiar la dinámica. Si hubiéramos tenido un poquito más de tiempo, creo que lo hubiéramos podido eh, convertir, ¿verdad? Pero no. ¿Ok? ¿Estamos de acuerdo? ¿Estamos de acuerdo todos? Yes, sí. Ok. Voy a tomar entonces la asistencia. I will call the roll. Amanda Graciela Pérez Orellana. Good evening, teacher present. Good evening. Caleca Visaí Marinero Asensio. Present, teacher. Candelaria de Los Ángeles Nolasco de Flores. Present, teacher. Ok. Hello, Candy. Ok. Carol Ivette Chávez Reyes. Carol Ivette Chávez Reyes. No. Cristian no, 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 Edenilson Ayala Ramírez. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Delmi Guadalupe Martínez Marroquín. Present teacher. Edwin Joel Amaya Palacios. Estela Mabel Orellana de Del Cid. Iliana Carolina Calderón Cisneros. Iris Marina Portillo de Reyes. Hermi teacher. Okay. Okay. Iris Janet Barrera Herrera. Present teacher. Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. Present. Okay. Karen Maricela Rivera de Martínez. Carla Raquel Mendoza Hernández. Present teacher. Kenny Lisset Cuellar de Barrientos. Levin Giovanni Martínez. Present teacher. Ahí soy, ok. Lisset del Carmen Hernández Mismit. Marta Lidia Godínez. Ok, Delmi, no problem. Uh, René Armando Avendaño Pineda. Present teacher. Ok. Reinaldo Chávez Guerra. Present teacher. Alexandra Raquel Ávila de Axume. Present teacher. Hey, Ale, hello. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so happy for, uh, for her because she, she was having trouble with this, um, with taking the course. So I'm so happy that you're here, Alexandra. Ingrid Yamilet Era Suaranda. Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Present. Ok, Jessica. Carla Janet García González. Present. Oh, there you are too. Thank you very much for coming. Um, okay. Let's see. María Magdalena Ronquillo Magaña. You there, María Magdalena? Marielos Janet Cornejo Erazo. Present teacher. Ok. Vilma Consuelo Guzmán de Girón. Present Ok, Vilma. Thank you very much. Ok, then. I'm really happy for you all, guys. I'm really happy for you all. I think you have been um, having in mind this activity, talking about your activities, how you were going to do it. And I think this is exciting. This is exciting. So I want to hear you. I want to hear you. Solo siete de ustedes me enviaron el, el audio. Eh, yo creo que si hubiéramos estado presenciales, le daba premio al primero. La primera fue Iris Janet, ¿verdad? Así que, ¡eh, no, Iris! ¡Yay! Ok, and she did a good job. She did a really good job. 
Um, also, Reinaldo pudo al fin grabarlo. Reinaldo tenía problemas, y, pero gracias a Dios yo creo que sí lo logró, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok, perfecto. Sí. Ya lo ok, me llegó Julio también, envió su audio, muy bien hecho también. Uh, let's see. Jessica también me lo envió. Y bueno, eh, Vilma me lo envió también. Así que sí estuvieron trabajando y los felicito, ¿verdad? Bien, ¿de qué se trataba esta actividad? A ver, se trataba de que ustedes hicieran un parrafito, ¿verdad? Como preparando ya su cerebro al momento que les preguntan, What do you do? ¿Verdad? What do you do at your job or in your jobs? Entonces, recuérdense que esa pregunta, what do you do, tiene dos respuestas. La primera respuesta, ¿cuál era? My occupation, ¿verdad? Cuando le preguntan, for example, um, eh, o nos estamos conociendo, right? The first conversation in life, maybe. Hello, what's your name? Ah, oh, my name is Siri Marina. Oh, what do you do? Uh, y ya me dice su occupation, su profesión, right? Ok. Luego, yo espero que usted me explique qué cosas hace en su día o qué cosas hace como responsabilidades diarias en su trabajo, ¿verdad? Porque esta es una plática dentro del trabajo. Ok. Dicho esto, ok, la idea era que lo comentáramos o que lo escribieran diciendo la frecuencia con que hacían cada una de las actividades, ¿sí? I always do this, I never do that, I often do this, I often do that, okay? For example, I often file the documents, I always call clients, I never come late to work. So things like that, things like that based on Mr. Wilson. You remember? On Mr. Wilson's speech. Entonces, vamos a ver. Vamos a comenzar según el orden que tengo acá. ¿Ok? Según el orden que tengo acá. La primera sería Amanda. ¿Ok? La primera sería Amanda que nos va a compartir su audio. Sería en compartir, ¿verdad? Sí. Se va a la opción de compartir abajo de en la pantalla y pone compartir audio. Está hasta abajo, es un cuadrito nada más ponerle chequecito. Ok, go ahead, please. No sé si voy a poder, teacher. Se lo envía a usted, pero no sé si usted lo puede compartir. Ok, Amanda, permítame, porque yo Sorry. también... Es que depende de el um, tipo de, de audio. Dígame los dos primeros números de su teléfono. Eh, 71. Okay, vamos 76. Ok, vamos a ver. Permítame. Okay. Is it seven six? Seven oh, six. Yes. Okay. Karina, no. Ok, aquí lo tenía. Sí, sí, sí me lo envió, pero hasta hace un momento me cayó, ¿verdad? Ok, todavía está cargado. Sí. Vamos a ver. Uh, solo voy a hacer un 
mate aquí tal vez se pueda de esta manera. Permítame. Vamos a ver. Tu, tu. Ok, lo voy a poner desde WhatsApp. Good evening, teacher. My name is Amanda. I work in a hotel and I am receptionist. I always make reservation and I clean the pool area in the morning. Check the social media. I tend the Ok, ok, vamos a ver, ¿qué notamos acá? Opinions about her job, about, no su trabajo de, de oficina, sino que acerca de su desempeño en el inglés, vamos a ver. Go ahead, Iris Marina. Empecé escuchando el audio de la compañera, pero luego ya no lo escuché. Ya no se oyó. Es decir, no sé si solo, no. solo a mí quizás me sucedió. Sí, al final. Solo es un nombre. Ah, ya, pues no se puede compartir de la manera que esperaba. Ok. Es que saben qué sucede. Por situaciones es que me aparecen sus números ahí. ¿Me entienden? Entonces no quería hacerlo de esa manera que están en pantalla los números de teléfono. Entonces vamos a hacer otra cosa. Right. Y, y si cada uno lo dice, de todos modos lo tenemos escrito en algún papelito o algo. Lo que pasa es que lo practicaron y en el momento les tuvo que haber salido bien bonito y ahorita se me van a poner nerviosos enfrente de todos. ¿Sí me entienden? O sea, tiene, tiene, esto tiene una razón de ser, ¿ok? Porque ustedes solos es una cosa. Enfrente, pues ya es otra cosa. Sí, sí me doy a, a entender en eso. Entonces, eh, la idea de esta actividad era que ustedes se sintieran en confianza. ¿Me entienden? Entonces, vamos a ver. Sí, me está dando problema compartirlo desde acá por esa razón. Vamos a ver. No, no nos vamos a dar por vencidos y voy a compartir los primeros que yo tengo, ¿ok? Y luego vamos a ir viendo cómo cada quien va a compartir los suyos, ¿ok? Bien. Voy a compartir los míos primero. Ok, hoy sí, así sí, sí, no hay problema que aparezca ahí. Porque los tendría que ir descargando todos. Vamos a ver. Oh, ya me acuerdo. No, ah, ahí está. Oh, thank God. Sí, todavía me funciona. Vamos a oír el de julio primero, ¿ok? Hello, my name is Julio Ramirez. I work in an office. I am an account. Every day I check emails for the company in every moment. I always answer the phone by questions from co-workers. I always between 9 and 11 a.m. I check the cash payments of the day. Usually I check sales and earning reports. We have a to attend a meeting on December 10th to check the earnings for the month of November. Hello, okay. my name is Julio Ramirez. I work in an office. I am Ok, acá el feedback que yo le puedo dar a Julio, ha hecho un excelente trabajo, eh, tiene una, una eh, algo de resaltar en su pronunciación es que finaliza las palabras, ok, 
finaliza las palabras, pronuncia la S del final, pronuncia la T, la TS juntas, ¿verdad? Sí, finaliza las, las palabras. Eso es muy importante para poder dar el significado. Lo hizo muy bien. Todas las, las oraciones están correctas gramaticalmente. Lo ha hecho muy bien. Ahora, eh, para todos, cuando decimos name, ¿ok? Cerremos el final. Todas las palabras en inglés, para que tengan un significado, hay que cerrarlas al final. Cerrarlas me refiero a pronunciarlas completamente hasta el final de la palabra, ¿ok? Julio lo hace muy bien. Bien, vamos a pasar al siguiente. Julio ha hecho un excelente trabajo. No tengo más observación que felicitarlo porque ha hecho un buen trabajo, ¿ok? Hay que seguir Gracias, practicando. Teacher. Ok, hay que seguir practicando la pronunciación para que le salga más fluido, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver. Ahora la vamos a poner a Kenny, ¿ok? Va Kenny. Hello, classmates and teacher. My name is Kenny Cuellar. I am an accountant. I work in an office from Monday to Saturday. My activities in my work are I check emails and answer the phone for the company, Daily. I pass the payments to my boss's review between the 10 o'clock and 11 a.m. twice a week. I register the sales and purchase of the company daily. I generate the final statement of the company once a month. Usually, that's are my activities. Okay, what does she do? What does she do? What does Kenny do? Let's see. Um, Kalek. What does Kenny do? Perdón. What does Kenny do? Uh, <laughs> no, no le escuché muy bien este, dónde trabaja. Ok, bien. Acuérdense que esta, esta pregunta tiene dos respuestas. What do you do? What does he do? Se responde primero con la ocupación. She is an yeah. accountant. Ok. She is an accountant. Yeah. Y la segunda respuesta es explicar las actividades que ella realiza. ¿Verdad? Uh, she was talking about the um, uh, account on uh, the final report of the month and those kind of things. Right? So, and she says... Uh, that's pretty much what she does, right? Okay. Al que viene le ponemos atención. I am going to ask questions, okay? There you go. Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Va Marta Lidia. My name is Marta Lidia Odines. My occupation is a Connie. Every day I start my work at 8 a.m. Daily I have to check my email to verify the information that must be entered into the system. I frequently prepare payments voucher. Every end of the month I work on the canning closing and I have to present reports every month on the 7 of each month in december on the 13 we will make a presentation on the annual closing that's our my work activities that okay so what does she do a ver si le captamos un poquito si sí, hay hay como una falla en la pronunciación de su ocupación pero vamos a ver si lo captaron de acuerdo a las actividades que ella hace her activities. What does she do? What does Marta I'm Lidia sure. do? I'm sorry. Good evening. Go ahead, Estela. I'm not sure, but, but I listen 
Listen uh, that she's a count. Okay, that's um, a closer pronunciation. Uh, it is an accountant, right? That's the correct pronunciation, accountant. Eh, siempre, si decimos account, solo estoy diciendo yo soy cuenta. Okay, tenemos que decir accountant para decir contador, ¿verdad? Account es una cuenta. Ahora, accountant es contador, ¿ok? Yes, I think that she's an accountant and I thought because of her activities, right? Because of her activities. And she says that they are, they are having a presentation at the end of the month and so on, right? Okay, guys. So, vamos a escuchar ahora. We are listening. The next one I've got here. Okay. Uh, no, estos son los dos que no me suenan, ¿ok? Estos dos sí no me suenan. Vamos a ver. Eh, ¿Me los siguen enviando al personal? Vamos a ver. Ok, let's try. Let's try from here. I think we, we can share only the... the... Hello, my name is Cristian Ayala. I work at cleaning products factory. I am operator of the industrial machine. Every day I check that the machine work well. We always have meeting every end of the month. I never work weekend. Okay. When does he have meetings? When does he have meetings? It was Christian, by the way. ¿Cuándo tienen reuniones, Christian? When does he have meetings? When does he have the meetings? Every day end of the month. At the end of the month. Yes, Christian. Thank you for, for helping us. Okay. Thank you for helping us. <laughs> Ajá. Ya vi que no están poniendo atención. A ver. Por favor, eh, eh, pongamos todos el video porque no los veo. Me he quedado yo solita. Solitos estamos, chicos. Solo Vilma, Reinaldo, Iris y Marielos. La idea es que todos participemos. <risa> ah, vaya, aquí está. Ok. Muy bien. La idea es que todos participemos. A ver. Ajá. Ajá. Sí, pónganle volumen a su, a su device porque unos... Eh, hablan bien suavecito. Cristian habló suavecito. Vaya, vamos a ver, vamos a seguir entonces con los del WhatsApp. Ya vimos que sí se puede de esa manera. Vamos a ver entonces. Hello, my name is Magdalena Ronquillo. I work in a bookstore. I'm in the customer service art. Every day, the phone is that have a charge because the charges are made from the different companies. I always do the cleaning in the morning. I usually make photocopies all day. In the bookstores, the months of December and January, we are always very busy for the scholastic season. Wow. Excellent, Maria Magdalena. You did a good job reading that paragraph. Yay, I think we may clap, right? Yay, you did a good job, Maria Magdalena. Okay, customer service area. Ahí no tenga miedo de decir area. Area, area, okay? Um, you, you did a good job. Uh, is there any comment about her audio? ¿Alguien tiene algún comentario? A ver. No comments. Ok, vamos a seguir entonces. Let's listen to the others. Listen to the others. <clears throat> Here we go. Hello, my name is Marielos Cornejo. I am work in an office. I am a content assistant. Every day I check email for the company. 
I always check the final information of the company. Generally, I attend meeting in the afternoon. In my company, we always have events. We have two attendees at the conference of December 20, and the next day we have to go to Christmas party. I had a lot of the things to do. Great. Okay, what does um, Ms. Cornejo do? What does Ms. Cornejo do? And by the way, uh, ahorita ella está en una defensa de tesis, creo, right? Okay, good luck oh, for her. Yeah, oh, yeah, hey, hey, I, I, no, lo había, no la había visto, I haven't seen you yet. Okay, so how was, how was, your, how was your presentation? Yeah. Good, yeah, I knew it, I knew it. I knew it, you were gonna do a good job. Okay, now, um, what does Marielos do? Uh, She's a content uh, assistant. Yeah, correct, correct. And what did she say about the Christmas party? What does she say about the Christmas party? ¿Qué dice ella acerca de la fiesta de Navidad de la empresa? Don't you remember? That she has a lot of work because of the Christmas party. That's what she said, okay? Okay then, guys, we are going to continue. Uh, great, here we go. Oh, yeah, you sent a message, Marielos. I'm sorry I didn't read it. Okay, let's listen to this one. Hello, my name is Reinaldo Chavez Guerra. I work at American Park Lamatepec Manufacturing Plant. I am a mechanic in sewing machine. I start my work at six. 16 a.m. I don't cleaning in my work area. My supervisor give me the indication of what why be done during the day and recure part to install install inst installing in in the in a uh, damage machine that are full in the workshop support in the rep in the repair of machine on the production floor i feel all work order when when recue i gain preventing my maintains to machine a sign a sign of the day my work day it at 4 11 5 p.m okay okay well we heard this solo nos faltó un poquito reinaldo que nos dijera con qué frecuencia hace las actividades right you said the exact time you did it a good job saying it uh and you told us that you are a mechanic but i couldn't get uh, i couldn't get what kind of a mechanic are you what kind of a mechanic? Mm. Mechanic, you 23 said? 23 años. 23 years of experience. Oh my God, wow. Nice, this is, yeah, yes. this is amazing. This is amazing. Okay, but what's your specialty? What's, uh, what's your expertise? ¿Cuál es, um, ustedes? Mecánico, pero dijo de un nombre de una máquina, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo se llama la máquina que usted opera o que usted arregla? Se nos quedó frisado, Reinaldo. 
Es que dice un nombre. Oh, se me desconectó. Ah, there you are. Reinaldo. Cuando usted sí, dice, sí, sí, I am a mechanic, no. y dijo, no sé si de una máquina o mecánico en algo, o sea, en una especialidad. Operador mecánico, creo que dijo. Ah, mecánico. Mecánico. La reparación de máquinas. Repairing. Repairing. Mecánico, Oh, ok, ok, then, now we know. Esa parte no, no la agarré muy bien, la segunda parte. I just got mechanic, but I didn't know what kind of a mechanic you were. Ok, nice, this is nice. This is really nice to hear. Bien, aquí voy a aprovechar para dar un feedback. Yo los felicito por el esfuerzo que han hecho. La idea de estas actividades es que practiquen su vocabulario. What vocabulary were you going to practice? ¿Cuál vocabulario iban a practicar? Unit one, unit two. Y bueno, ahora ya vamos a comenzar unit three, ¿verdad? Era unit one and unit two only, ¿ok? Eh, Reinaldo se nos adelantó porque hasta nos puso pasados y futuros, ¿verdad? Um, pero muy bien, muy bien. Lo único que queremos hacer con esta... Eh, Actividad es ir ordenando, ordenando las estructuras para poder comunicar ciertos temas. Por ejemplo, el tema de expresar qué actividades yo hago en mi trabajo, ¿ok? Y con qué frecuencia la hago. So, what do I do in my job? Or what do you do in your job? What does she or he do in his job or in her job? Y... Utilizar eh, answering how often do you do that, right? I always, I usually, I never, I, um, I often, I rarely, hardly ever, okay? So we're going to continue, okay? We're going to continue. Hello, I am Lisette Hernandez and I am quality auditor and I work at check that people produce with quality and I work based on a specification of Mondays. I have a meet in the morning where they check the quality level at the plant. Then I my phone and share off the reviewing work from after models and I really like my work. Okay. Okay, so just let me play it again, just because of something, okay, just because of something. Hello, I am Lisette Hernandez, and I am quality auditor. Oh, and okay. I work, I check that people produce with quality, and I work based on a specification. On Mondays, I have a meet in the morning where they check the quality level at the plant. Them a my phone and shared off the reviewing work from after models. And I really like my work. Okay. So, guys, what does she do? What does she do? She is a Quality. Go ahead, go ahead, Estela, please. Just this word. <laughs> I, I, okay. I, say it. I'm sorry, but I, I have bad listening. I uh, don't understand something uh, uh, when I is uh, listening another person okay and just this work i understand <laughs> okay you just understood quality quality yes according according to the activities for example let's see uh julio what do you think according uh the activities that she mentioned what do you think that uh, what is her occupation 
according with the activities that she explains, that she expresses. De acuerdo. Well, huh? Perdón, sorry. Okay, according to the activities that Lisette tells about what she does, um, what do you think is her occupation? Perdón, no, no escuché a Lisette. Oh, okay. No, no, no le. Es que sí, al principio, como entra en solo, ¿verdad? Said, yes, yes, please. I'm sorry. But I, uh, I think she's a quality supervisor. Supervisor? Well, it's. She said a word. She said a word. And I had to hear it twice because of her voice. It was so low, right? Um, yes, but uh, she said auditor. Right? Auditor. Aud yes. Auditor. Yes. Okay. Quality auditor. Right? Yeah. That's what she said. Okay. And uh, she said something. Uh, le vamos a preguntar. Lisette. Yes. Hello. Could you please explain us to uh, ask this activity that you mentioned? You said that you have to. Um, I, I don't remember is to observe what people produce. Is, is that correct? Yes. Uh, for example, when the people produce uh, words, I check the quality. Okay. Okay, so in that case, just give me just a, a short explanation. Do you check people or do, do you check the objects? Do the you check twice. people or do you check the objects? Twice. So you check production. You production check production. What they, they, does, do? They do. Lo que ellos hacen? They, they do. do. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, because, what they do. Uh, sometimes they do um, a lot of mistakes. Oh, okay. So, so they I have to say, correct the mistakes. Yes. yes. Okay. Uh, oh, great. Great. So I, that was just my thought because you said that what people produce or uh, the production. Yeah, so if you do both, I mean the process yes. and the object. Okay, now I understand. And See, when the production is, is finished, uh -huh. then I check. You check also the, you measure yes. and I mean the... Um, and quality of the process okay. and, and quality finish. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. Okay, now I get it. You got it, guys? Did you get it? Did you get what does Lisa do? Yes, she's a quality auditor and she checks the production and also she checks people to produce, right? What, I mean, uh, the process the, of producing what does she the work, uh, What does she, she work in the maquila? Because where do you yes, work, Lisa? She's uh, Yes, an uh, industrial uh, and it's for South Africa. Okay. Ah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, great. The, 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 the last year I became the mercandise there from Guatemala. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> mm, nice, nice. This is very interesting, right? So let's listen to, thank you very much, Lisa. Thank you very much, Lev. And we are going to listen to the next one will be one second. You don't have to sorry, really said you did a good job, okay? Uh, let's Thanks. listen to, okay. Hello everybody. My name is Alexandra Avila. I work on this agro. I am customer service representative and their activities, what I do are answer the phone, check the email and in the morning and the afternoon I make reports 
also I photocopy important documents and every Monday I may report for the accounting department and also we have meeting with my boss once a month to see the results. Okay, great. So, um, what does she do? What does Alexandra do? Marta Lidia? What does Alexandra do? No escucho, teacher. Acabo de entrar, perdón. Oh, okay, Marta Lidia, okay. Let's play it again. Service uh, customer. Hello, everybody. The person. Uh -huh, Alexandra uh -huh. I work on this hour. I am exactly. customer to... service representative and their activities, what I do are answer the phone, check the email, and in the morning and the afternoon, I may report. Also, I photocopy important documents and every Monday I may report for the accounting department and also we have meeting with my boss once a month to see the results. Okay, how often does she have meetings with her boss? Once a month. Once once a month uh -huh. living once hey come month. on <laughs> okay <laughs> once a month okay and month. what is the purpose of that meeting what is the purpose of that meeting and the and the office boss yes but what what is the purpose cuál es el propósito the objective I understand uh, that she uh, this uh, meeting is about the another department. Uh, something like uh, present uh, reports about another department in in her in her eye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're close, <laughs> you're close, you're close. Uh, you're yeah, but they say, job. she you're said, <laughs> yeah, but she said that uh, that meeting was to check the results or something like that, to check the results. That's what I heard. Okay, to check the results. Ah. Uh-huh. Okay. So now we are listening the next one. Okay. Let's listen to Edis Marina. Hello, my name is Iris de Reyes. I work at Akaku RL. I have been working in a financial institution for seven years that working. House are Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. and Saturday from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. I am currently a customer service exactly. My obligation are to Serve the clean, answer the phone, type receipt, check email, answer email, open a code, cancel a code, keep my R clean, print reports, and take all from my super bosses. 
Okay. Did you get it? It was kind of a lot of activities, right? A lot of activities that she has to do. So let's think about this. She says that she works, uh, where, where does she work? Where does she work? She works at? Akaku de RL. Oh yes, RL. it's an associate association, right? Okay. All right. Okay, so now look at this, look at this. Uh, mi observación. I, uh, okay, I go ahead. I think, teacher, it is a executive, executive service. Executive? Ex executive. Uh -huh. Executive. Executive service, I think. Okay. Because, because she doesn't face all about, the, about her work. Like a representative, right? Like a representative. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. That sounds like that, right? It sounds like that. Okay, but she says that, uh, bueno, dijo varias actividades. Lo voy a decir así en español. De las actividades que dijo, eh, dos, recuérdenme dos de las que dijo. Server the client. Serve, serve the, uh -huh. answer emails, uh -huh. serve the clients. Serve the clients could be okay, could be okay if she work in a restaurant, right? Uh, if, if she works in a restaurant, it's okay that I serve clients. Pero si yo trabajo en uno, ajá, si yo soy una customer re, uh, service representative, yo voy a atender, assist, okay? Assist clients. Esa sería una, eh, la otra fue answering emails, right? Answering emails. Uh, de decíamos que para contestar ese verbo, contestar, reply. answer, es reply. para el teléfono, es para persona a persona, pero para un email o para cosas, eh, mensajes de texto, Twitter, or whatever we want to send, like WhatsApps and everything, we reply emails, okay? Reply emails, R-E-P-L-Y, reply emails. Okay, así que e excellent because she listed she listed her activities. Okay, she didn't say exactly the frequency. She didn't say exactly the frequency of these activities in her in her day or maybe in her week, right? Uh, but uh, that's the part that she's missing, okay? Eso fue lo único que le faltó a Iris, okay? Ponerle eh, la frecuencia con la que lo hace, okay? Bien, okay. y la otra cosa, con la pronunciación. La pronunciación, mi mejor consejo es exageren la pronunciación. Ahorita que estamos aprendiendo. Eh, no tengan miedo. Open your mouth, okay? Open your, it doesn't matter if you speed up, right? It doesn't matter. For example, if you say I am or I work at what, well, it doesn't matter. Miren, hay mucha gente que le dice, ah, como, es que como habla el inglés así, como cambia hasta la voz. Pues lastimosamente sí, fíjense. Para que podamos hablar el inglés, lastimosamente tenemos que cambiar un poquito eh, nuestro acento era o, o la forma de acentuación porque I nosotros open my mouth teacher when I when I when I'm when I'm angry oh really oh seriously <laughs> yeah. but when you're happy too you open your mouth a lot like this oh I have seen you when you oh, smile oh, yeah when you smile. smile when yeah you you laugh a lot and that's good you laugh a lot so as you do it in oh, Spanish as you do it in Spanish, always, go ahead. Always I'm, I'm laughing oh, because, okay. <laughs> because I like the laughing with you, with everybody, and I like share my smile. <laughs> okay, and, and it's good, and we like that. Uh, but this is the situation. When we speak a different language, we have to imitate, right? We have to imitate. How does a native speaker speak? They don't speak like this. We, we cannot understand <laughs> that, right? We cannot, we have to open our mouths. And as we are learning, then 
uh, when we are, uh, are advancing, okay, in the process of learning the language, then it's going to become natural. It's going to become natural. Pero mientras estamos aprendiendo, y les sugiero, abran la boca, no tengan miedo. Please don't be afraid. Don't be shy. Don't be ashamed. Open your mouth. Okay? Open. Ah, like this, right? If you want to speak English, what do you have to do? If you want to speak Open. English, what do you have to do? Open your mouth and understand what I say. <laughs> okay, if you want to speak yes. English, you have to open your mouth and speak, okay? And speak, that's what you, you have to speak do. Speak loud. <laughs> yes, yes, and do it. It's a very good exercise. Okay, guys, here we have listened about 10, right, at this moment. So let's see, this is the last one I think that I have here. Oh no, teacher, I have more. Teacher, I, 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 is teacher, I, I didn't do the, the test because uh, it's not very important for me. Well, I, I didn't find that, but, but I do the lesson 15. Okay. Uh, uh -huh. It was not for lesson 15. It was until the homework number 10. Exercise, uh -huh. Exercise 15, I think. I, I, I will I check it. Do... I will check it, okay? Okay, and, and, and I found and I found the, the, the test. Didn't you find but it I... out? Yeah. Okay, I will check it and I'll, then I'll tell you, okay? Okay. Thank Let's you. listen to this audio and then I'm going to check this that out, okay? And I I I didn't I didn't do the homework because I my my weekend was the easy teacher. Se la valemos. Uh, Se la valemos, at, chicos. At night, I go to bed very tired. Uh, I understand you, Levin. I understand you. <laughs> I didn't I did my homework, too. <laughs> didn't you do it? Oh, my <laughs> God, Estela. <laughs> uh -huh, we are going to put She's my partner for the years. She's my partner, teacher. Good job, Estela. <laughs> <Sí, que, laughs> no, entonces ustedes cierran espontáneamente, ¿ok? Así va a ser. Vamos a ver. Espontáneamente nos van a hablar de su, de su trabajo. Ok, let's listen to the next audio. This audio is from Carla, right? Ok, let's listen. Good evening, teacher and classmate. My name is Carla. I am girl, a production coach. I go from Monday to Friday. I check my email and post production result every day. Review okay. stall uh, present every day. Okay. We had meeting every day. I am happy with my girl. With my work, I think she said. Okay, guys, look. Uh, this one was Carla. Carlita, right? Okay, you like uh, you like to be called Carlita, right? Okay, then Carlita said something, but I didn't get exactly what was your occupation. So what do you do, Carla? You said production, go, come, yes. coach. Coach, como entrenadora de producción. Coach, okay. Okay, now I get it, now I get it. Okay, listen, there is something very important. Y vamos siempre a la, a la pronunciación, miren. Cuando hay, miren, la verdad que a nosotros los salvadoreños nos cuesta mucho, miren, decir, usamos la J, ¿verdad? Para todo. Entonces, eh, mi mamá solía decirme cuando yo era pequeñita, con J no, ¿ok? Con J no. Y yo llegué a odiar la letra J when I was a little girl, ¿ok? Um, and avoided their J, ¿ok? Pero nosotros tenemos un problema grande en nuestro en nuestra forma de eh, articular las palabras o las letras del alfabeto les sugiero que vuelva, vuelvan a lo básico todos ok vuelvan a lo básico cuál es lo básico el, el abecedario ok the alphabet cada letra tiene un sonido ok cada letra tiene un sonido y hay letras que tienen más de un sonido ahora 
las letras, así como a Julio le decía yo que tiene una muy buena pronunciación, al final cierra cada palabra, debemos esforzarnos el doble, ¿ok? El doble para poder pronunciar las letras del final. Y tenemos una letra que nos da mucho problema, que es la letra M al final de las palabras. En nuestro idioma no tenemos palabras que terminen con letra M, ¿ok? No, las, no la tenemos, la mayoría de nuestras palabras terminan en N, N. Entonces tenemos solo este sonido, mm, mm, ok, mm, al final. Entonces tenemos que forzar nuestro cerebro para que mm, hagamos este sonido al final. Miren, name, name, ok, plum, ok. So we don't have letter M at the end of the words in the Spanish. So we need to force our, our to push our brains and moving our mouth, exaggerating this movement. Mm, okay. Igual nos pasa con la letra C al final. K, k, al final. K, la letra K. K. Y tendemos a pronunciarlo como una T. Ahora, este verbo, check. Hagan todos ese verbo. Check. 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 Si ustedes lo pronuncian con una T al final, será una mala palabra. ¿Ok? Será una mala palabra. Entonces, tengamos cuidado porque ese lo estamos usando constantemente en nuestro trabajo. ¿Ok? Check. Like this. No le pongan la T. Ok. Ya, los, ya lo escuché en varios audios, pero no lo había querido decir hasta que llegáramos como a los. ¿Verdad? Entonces, bien. Sigamos. ¿Ha hecho un buen trabajo, Carlita? ¿Ha hecho un buen trabajo? ¿Ha estructurado bien las oraciones? Estamos correctamente. Nos vamos a quedar hasta aquí. Ok. Porque tenemos que ver el tema del día de hoy. Pero el día de mañana, imagínense, tienen leche, ¿verdad? <ríe> Las que no lo hicieron. Ok, el día los de mañana, con los que faltan, ok, los que pasaron el día de hoy, los que lo enviaron el día de hoy, tienen 10. Ya los de mañana, pues ya ah. es base 7, ¿verdad? Bien. <ríe> Ok, Yo Vilma, tell me. Sí, Vilma, eh, eh, usted me lo mandó y me lo mandó eh, a tiempo. El problema es que lo tenemos en un formato que se llama OGG. Entonces no me suena. Ok, no, no lo pude hacer sonar el suyo, Vilma. Si me lo... O sea, yo lo puedo escuchar desde WhatsApp, pero no desde donde yo lo tenía acá. Ok. Ay, ya se me perdió acá. Permítame. Teacher, yo también se lo envío ahora. Sí, yo Teacher, tengo yo los que me lo envío ahora. <coughs> no. <risa> ok. <risa> Vilma, yo Teacher, sí recibí yo el suyo. Sí. Sí, claro. Es que, miren, pues yo no les he dicho que no me lo han enviado. Que ahorita vamos yo a tener que cortar. Mab... Vamos a tener yo que cortar. De la Mabel al final vamos a pasar. Exactamente. Ah, tenemos 12 de nota. Exactamente. Solo ellos aplazaron, <risa> los demás no. ¿Ok? <risa> <risa> no, teacher. No, it's not true. It's not true. It's not true. You are going to do your best, and I know. Ok, guys. I have to, I have to go to, to jump into the new topic. ¿Ok? No, Entonces, no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Uh -huh. <risa> <risa> ok, no, no, wait, no, wait. <risa> <laughs> okay, guys, look, we are going to continue uh, later after I explain the topic for tonight, okay? Then, the thing is that uh, tonight we are starting unit three, starting unit three. What's the topic for un unit three? What is the topic for unit three? Three, we are studying scheduled activities, okay? Scheduled activities. Unit one was work-related events and unit two was ongoing activities at the workplace. Now, unit three, 
is scheduled events at the workplace. Scheduled events at the workplace. Remember that we learn to say the date. We learn that we have plans, okay? We need to, to express, we need to express activities in the future, okay? Activities in the future. Pero ¿cómo expreso yo estos eventos o estas eh, acciones, actividades que están programadas para un tiempo futuro? A corto plazo, estamos hablando a corto plazo, ¿ok? Entonces, eso es lo que nos va a ocupar el día de hoy. Ok. Listen. We are going to study this topic. This is the first topic of Unit 3. Present continuous for future events. Present continuous for future events. This is your video conference 11. And we are starting Unit 3. Let's look at the objective. What's the objective for Unit 3? The Unit 3 pretends that participants will be able to describe future work. Uh, listen to this. Future work events. Future, you see, future tense, and ongoing activities at the workplace asking and providing specific information about temporary situations as well. Okay, listen. Future work events, ongoing activities at the workplace, asking and providing specific information about temporary situations. So future, ongoing, and temporary situations. This is what we are going to study in unit three. So let's see the class objective. We or you participants will be able to talk about activities using present continuous. The present continuous has different uses. Present continuous has different uses. Okay, maybe you know the present continuous, uh, maybe for one of the uses that is the most common, and we are going to talk about that later. And this is the agenda, okay? The agenda was our feedback, was the listening activity, the activity that we were doing. Then we have some questions and answers just to remember how to say the date, how to talk about the um, uh, prizes and some other things. Then the present continuous, we're going to see how we structure the present continuous. And then we are having this breakout rooms talking about future events, okay? The session one-on-one -on -one tonight night is for Reinaldo, okay? Reinaldo, hoy es su turno. Are you staying, Reinaldo? Yes, teacher. Okay, great, great. Bien, vamos a regresar entonces a donde estábamos. Vamos a escuchar todavía dos más, okay? Dos um, audios más. Eh, quiero encontrar el de Vilma, a ver si lo puedo... Um, Perdón. A ver si lo puedo colocar desde otro punto. Um, uh, think this is the okay. I think this is the one. Yes, it sounds good. No he escuchado nada, no se oye ese audio. Ok, one second, one second. The actor is sleepy. Yeah, no, it's because of the <laughs> file. Ok, it's because of the file, the, the, uh, the type of file that. Eh, es... no, no recuerdo cómo se dice la. la... Extension, the extension, the extension of this file, it's ODD. So this is the difficulty we have. Okay, just let me... Es otro formato. Yes, yes, correctly. 
pero está excelente, Vilma, yo lo he escuchado, ya, se lo, ya lo escuché, eh, están bien estructuradas las oraciones, tiene una pronunciación clara, ok, a ver, permítanme, tal vez lo, lo puedo poner desde otro punto, solo déjenme ver si se puede por acá. Could you send on WhatsApp? Yes, from WhatsApp, but the problem is, the problem is that maybe my computer, si lo oigo en el teléfono, pero no lo puedo pasar de, desde el teléfono, a menos que le pongamos play ahí. Ok, veamos, veamos, hoy sí tiene que sonar. Si quieres no nos... la computación. Va, chévere. No nos va a ganar. Financial study main every month and I present them to the general manager. Hoy sí se oye. Yes. Va, entonces le voy a poner desde el principio. Y play again. Hello, my okay. name is Bill Medijiron. Here we go. Hello, my name is Bill Medijiron. I work at Miramonte Baptist Church. I am an accountant. I work Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. I always make sure that the accounting work is up to date and I review what the collaborators process in the accounting system. Every day I check my emails and answer them. Usually the most important thing I do is prepare the financial statement every month and I present them to the general manager. I am the person in charge of human resource and I often help payments of salaries, vacation, bonuses, and compensation are made of time. I normally review checks and not transfer. I have the area con coordinator with financial information for decision making. I check daily the bank availability in the various accounts of the company. You see, I was right. She did a really great job, okay? She did a really great job expressing. I think we have no thought. Uh, the only thing that I noticed, and it's, ahí sí que no se vuelve importante, because uh, everything was correct. Answer, answer emails, right? We say reply emails, but everything was okay. And I like your pronunciation is really clear. So continue practicing, speaking, speaking, okay? You are doing a good job. Okay, only one mm. more, I think. Let's see if we get one more. Mm -mm. Okay, no, I have no other here, at least not handy. Okay, Carla Janet, we are listening Carla to list, uh, I'm sorry, we are listening to Carla Janet. Hi, my name is Carla. I work as a business assistant. I check email for a client daily and I support to the vendors I have meeting once a week. I have to write report monthly. I rarely go out to San Salvador for meeting. However, I have to visit some client farms to time a month. Okay. How do we say two times, guys? How do we say two times? Uh, twice. 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 Twice, twice a month. Twice. Okay. Twice. Okay. Um, do you have any observation for her? Any comment for Carla? Okay. Cuando ella dice support the vendors. Support the vendors. Um, Carla, are you there? Carla Janet? Carla Janet, hello. 
<laughs> okay, you said support the vendors. I don't know exactly what do you mean. I mean, what do you mean with this? Because like a, uh -huh. support customer, I think. Okay, but support is. Uh, I think it's not uh, the correct verb, but just I just want to define what is the the real activity, Carla. Oh, we are going to define that. I'm sorry, Levin. She Nothing went to? Uh, okay. Okay, no that. problem. Forget that. Okay. Carla? Hola. What exactly you want to say when you say support the vendors? Sí, eh, registrar algún tipo de, de venta en el sistema. Ok, so you, uh, en, en todo caso usted eh, quiso decir atender a los vendedores. Eh, sí, algo así. Es que lo que sucede es que ellos mandan eh, por correo los, lo, lo que es la venta y nosotros lo ingresamos al sistema. Okay, they sent by email the reports, the sales report. And then, okay. and then uh, you have to register this, right? You have to register this. It's not exactly support. In this case, I, I think it, uh, it is like assist the vendors, assist the vendors or something like that. Okay. Or maybe coordinate. Maybe coordinate or collab with the vendors, collab collaborate with the vendors uh, in registering the data, right, of the sales report. Okay. Okay, because support the vendors is, ah, okay. Ahora ya entiendo qué es lo que usted quiere decir. Usted dice darles apoyo o apoyarlos, right? Sí. Okay. Es algo así, un apoyo. Para Apoyar. Ellos. Okay. Es que lo que sucede es que ellos también andan en campo y no tienen señal, entonces lo, lo, lo más factible es eso, ¿verdad? Enviarnos a nosotros y nosotros ingresarlo al sistema. Ok, ok. Then I think it's better if you say assist. Assist. Mm -hmm. Ok. Ok. There you are. You did a good job, Carla. And uh, let's continue, guys. We are going to continue with these other... Uh, it's 9.15 already, so we are going to this. Vamos a ver, nada más para finalizar lo que hemos estado haciendo. La idea era que dijéramos, what do we have to do and what do we need to do and what do we do and what, etc., etc., right? and how frequently we do that, right? Entonces, solo nos queda ver un poquito en el manual. Um, like this, one moment. ¿Se recuerdan que estábamos viendo en have to and need to y eso? Solo mm -hmm. para recordar un poquito las preguntas directas. Do you remember the direct questions? Ahora, veamos entonces direct questions, just to remember with have to and need to, okay? Here we've got, for example, in a direct question, we use do for I, you, we, day, right? And we use does for she, he, it. So let's read these examples, just to refresh, okay? This is just to refresh the direct questions. Do you have to call customers? If it is an affirmative answer, then it is, yes, I do. Or if it is a negative answer, then we say, no, I don't. Bien. Cuando hacemos una pregunta directa, usualmente lo que queremos es una respuesta corta, ¿verdad? Entonces, si yo le pregunto a alguien, eh, mira, y tú, y tú tienes que llamar a los clientes o a los consumidores, a los clientes. Si la respuesta es positiva, o oh, sí. Claro, ¿verdad? Yes, I do. Or yes, of course, I do. Entonces, ahí se queda, ¿verdad? 
Pero si decimos una respuesta negativa, for example, do you have to call customers? No, I don't. Muchas veces con la respuesta corta parece un poquito como incompleta, ¿verdad? Entonces se queda la otra persona esperando. Bueno, y entonces, ¿qué es lo que tú tienes que hacer? Right? Entonces, de una sola vez, nosotros ponemos en nuestra respuesta una oración que explique, ¿ok? Lo que sí es. Si no es, entonces lo que sí es. For example, do you have to call customers? No, I don't. I have to visit customers. ¿Ok? Es como una explicación por qué no, ¿verdad? ¿Sí? Do you have to call customers? No, I don't. I have to visit customers. Veamos aquí. Do you have to visit customers? Si es afirmativo, yes, I do. Do you have to visit customers? No, I don't. Una oración explicativa, ¿cuál podría ser acá? Do you have to visit customers? No, I don't. I have to call customers. Okay, great. Excellent. Thank you very much. Do you have to send the emails? Yes, I do, if it is affirmative, right? Do you have to send the emails? No, I don't. Uh-huh. ¿Cuál podría ser una explicación acá? I don't, I don't know. Check the email. Okay. No, I don't. I uh, check the emails. Okay. Good. Excellent. Do they have to write the report? Do they have to write the, the report? Yes, they do, right? Pero si la respuesta es no, they don't. ¿Qué entonces es lo que hacen? Can you give me a sentence explaining what do they do? What do they have to do? Do they have to write a report? No, they don't. Mm -hmm. Entonces, ¿qué es lo que ellos hacen? No, 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 they don't because they are <laughs> co-workers. <laughs> okay. Because, what happened here? Here we go. Because they, they... are co-workers. Okay. Okay, let's say, even though we don't know exactly what they were talking about, right? Does Alexandra have to send the promotional emails? Yes, she does. Ahora, si fuera negativa, podemos dar una explicación de quién sí lo hace, ¿verdad? No, she doesn't. Julio does, okay? Does Alexandra have to send the promotional emails? No, she doesn't. Julio does. Aquí podría ser completa la oración, así como acá, ¿verdad? Así como acá, podríamos utilizar, for example, do you have to visit customers? No, I don't. Y decir quién sí tiene que visitar a los clientes. ¿Ok? Entonces, podemos ponerla completa. Esto ya lo habíamos visto. ¿Ok? A ver. Acá, por ejemplo, en vez de este does, podríamos decir Julio has to send the promotional email. Ok. Para resumir todo esto, fácil decimos, Julio does. Ok. Estamos correctos. Ok. Now, I'm going to ask a question. Estela, does Alexandra, does Alexandra have to visit customers? Eh... Yes, she does. Okay, or, thank no, you. No, she doesn't. Then who has to visit? Um, I visit the, the customer. Great, excellent, excellent. Do you see? 
Entonces, en todo caso, si usted dice, I visit the customers, I do. Okay. No, she doesn't. I do. Correct. Okay, guys. I'm going to stop with this. Here we have this five activities. I mean, these five sentences. Just let me erase this. And let's ask a question and let's give an answer. Okay. Using print documents. Print documents. Usted le va a preguntar a su compañero una pregunta como esta. Do you print documents? Y dice a quién, ¿verdad? A quién le va a hacer la pregunta, ¿ok? Empecemos con Levin. A él le gusta participar y me encanta que participe, ¿ok? Vamos a ver. Levin, use Hello. print documents. Hello. Escoja a quién le va a hacer la pregunta con esta actividad. Una pregunta similar a esto. Uh -huh. uh, do you have a... Uh, okay. Mr. Julio. Julio, Julio. There he is. Yes, I do. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I, I gonna make this, the, the question. Do you have... Do you have to... Print documents. Do you have to print document? Julio. Es la primera. La de Roja. Ah, okay. Sería yes, he does. Mm. Yes. I. He. I do. Ah, perdón, perdón. Yes, I do. Okay, correct. Ahora, Julio, usted escoja a alguien y le pregunta con file reports. Sería... A Iris Janet. Okay. Do you have to file reports? Yes, I do. Excellent. Ahora Iris escoja a alguien y le hace la pregunta con la que sigue. Go to the doctor. Ok. Vamos a preguntarle a Christian Edenilson. Ok, Christian. Ok. Eh, Christian, do you have eh, to go to the... Doctor? 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 Yes, I do. Okay. Do you feel ill? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, for sure. Oh, my God. Seriously? <laughs> Great. Okay, then, Christian, please ask a classmate this other, a question with this, with the number four. Leave work early. ¿A quién Jessica. le va a preguntar? Who do you want to ask a question? Uh, uh, Jessica. Okay, Jessica. Mr. Okay. Jessica, do you have to leave work early? No, I don't. Okay. I leave at 6 p.m. Okay, great, great, that's good. Okay, ahora Jessica, please ask okay. the, the last question to someone here. Reinaldo. Okay. 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 Uh, do you have to take some days off? Um, yes. Yes, I do. Excellent. Um, Saturday. Monday. Monday. Okay. Great. 
Great. So you don't work on Saturdays and you don't work on Monday, I mean, on Sundays. Sunday. Okay, great. No, Monday. Ah, till Monday. Ah, but you work on Sundays. Okay. Do you work on Sundays? Yes. Oh, okay. So, so you have two days off. Saturday and Monday. Okay, good. Great. Thank you very much, guys. Okay, let's continue because this was just to remember some things, okay? El día de mañana vamos a empezar con estas preguntas, miren. Okay, vamos a empezar con estas preguntas. Así que le pueden dar a screenshot para irlas leyendo. El día de mañana vamos a hacer este repaso, okay? Y ahorita vamos a comenzar. Now we are starting with the present continuous. What is the present continuous tense? What is this? And when do we use this? Uh, this is that tense that is structured, is structured with the verb to be and the ing verb form, okay? Verb to be and ing verb form. Esta es la estructura del presente continuo. continuo. This is the structure of the present continuous. For example, I am teaching, okay? I am teaching. Yo estoy enseñando. Okay. I just want you to check something very important. When we are using this, what action is this expressing, okay? Next one. It says, you are learning. You are learning. He is reading, he is reading, she is writing, she is writing, it is raining, it is raining. We are paying attention, we are paying attention. They are sleeping, they are sleeping. A ver, ¿qué notamos acá? ¿Cómo se estructura esto? ¿Cómo es que se estructura el presente continuo? Vamos a ver, eh, René, can you please help us with this? Yes, René, teacher, okay. I can, but you can explain me because um, I, I, I had some mistake with my internet and I'm connecting right now. Oh. You can help me, you can explain me, please. Okay, the present continuous. How do we structure the present continuous? Okay, Oisi? Okay, um, we are talking about present continuous, I know, but um, uh -huh. may I read? Uh, yes, if, if or, that's, if that explains, go ahead. Okay, number one. Okay. Okay, I am teaching. Okay, so if you see in that sentence that you already read, uh, how do we structure it in the present continuous? Hello, Lisette. I'm sorry, Rene. Uh, Lisette is um, raising her hand. Hello, Lisette. Hello. Uh, I think the present continuous express the action in the moment. Oh, good, good. That's one of the uses, right? That's one of the uses and exactly what I wanted you to, to notice here, okay? The structure is soldier bear plus verb infinity plus ing the verb to be right the verb to, the be. Verb to be yeah of course and the ing verb form yes and yeah. the action that this is expressing is a thing that is happening at the time that i'm speaking yeah okay? yeah of course. when i'm speaking the action is happening okay so yeah. let's read this for example i am teaching now right in the moment that's one of the uses you, you are speaking. Yes, exactly. So you are learning. Okay. All of you are yeah. learning. 
in this you, very moment, right? Are you sure? We are, yeah, of course, <laughs> of course I know you do. Okay, you, you are learning. So he is reading, maybe at this very moment, okay? She is writing. At this very moment, you are writing your notes, okay? It yeah. is raining. Well, right now it is not raining, but let's imagine, right, that it is happening right now, okay? And this word, yes, <laughs> because that is another word. <laughs> Oh, uh, what? what? Raining? Yeah, of course. Okay. It, it is cold. It's cold. Is it cold? Oh, yes. okay. <laughs> okay. Now, let's see. We are paying attention. We are paying attention. Everybody is paying attention to the topic, to the computer, to the slide, to the teacher, to your classmates. You are paying attention what is happening right now in the class, right? Entonces, uno de los usos del presente continuo y, y prácticamente el mayor de los usos es para cuando las cosas que yo quiero expresar están pasando en el momento que yo voy a decir lo que yo estoy hablando, ¿verdad? En este momento lo digo, en este momento está sucediendo. Para eso nosotros utilizamos el verbo to be. Okay? Acuérdense que el verbo to be se conjuga, tiene tres formas, ¿verdad? Tiene am, tiene are para los plurales, miren. Para we and they y para you, para tu singular y tu plural es are. Ahora, Para he, she, it, acordémonos que es is. Entonces, son las tres formas conjugadas del verbo, ¿verdad? To be. Esa regla hay que respetarla. ¿Y qué más? El verbo que expresa la acción va con la ing, ¿ok? Con el gerundio, ¿verdad? Va conjugado ando, endo, ¿verdad? Ok. Now, let's switch. Let's switch into this. I mean, we are going to express but the but but the verb that is an exchange with the the base form no not not uh, in this okay. case because here we are just using ing we are not changing anything we are uh, not changing uh. anything I just plus ing plus ing Okay. okay thank you. Y aquí no entra a conjugar con S ninguna, porque ING es una forma totalmente diferente de las que hemos estado viendo en el presente, ¿verdad? The verb doesn't present. change. Mm -hmm. The verb doesn't exchange. No cambia. Uh, you don't have to say exchange. Just say change. Ah, change. Ah, change. Yeah. Exchange me. is with money or maybe if you are giving an object and receiving yeah, a different yeah, yeah. one, right? Exchanging. Change right? Ob of your object. Ob ob yes, uh -huh. correct. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, guys. Yeah. So if we see, this is one of the uses, but let's look another of the uses, okay? Y si se recuerdan, ¿cuál era el tema? ¿Cuál era el tema? Present continuous for? For future activities. For future events, like for future <laughs> events, okay? Yeah. Yes, because we are studying scheduled events, okay? Scheduled events. ¿Se acuerdan ustedes que había la última uh, conversación? Ya la vamos a ver nuevamente. La última conversación que estaban hablando acerca de una agenda, que cuando iba a ser una de las cosas, ¿verdad? Una de los eventos. Esos son scheduled events. Eso lo vimos ayer. A ver, scheduled events are meant to happen in the future, ¿ok? Pero para expresar el futuro, ¿ok? Nosotros usamos también el presente continuo. Es uno más de los usos. Ustedes van a encontrar que para el futuro hay diferentes auxiliares, ¿ok? Este es uno de ellos, ¿ok? Esta es una forma, pero los auxiliares del futuro no los vamos a ver ahorita en, esta, en este módulo, ¿ok? Aquí estamos aprendiendo el presente continuo para future events, para eventos futuros, ¿ok? Pero ¿cómo entonces diferenciaríamos, ok? ¿Cómo diferenciaríamos si esto lo están diciendo en el futuro o lo están diciendo en el momento? 
you <clears throat> with the time the, instruction the words that you present in the in that exactly with the future expressions or with the time expressions for example if i say i am teaching now okay pero que si yo les digo i'm teaching tomorrow i'm teaching tomorrow maybe i'm not teaching now maybe i'm teaching in the future uh -huh. correct it is marina correct i'm teaching tomorrow this and this topic for example okay so we use future expressions tell me loving teacher uh, i don't know but i but i have a question with, to you Go ahead. Uh, and the, and in this case it doesn't matter use will or going to for no, express it, the, the future no no the situation is that will has its own uses okay uh, just, just, just identify the time expression of the future in the verb ing, the press continue. Just that, and I'm talking about the future. Yes, yes. That's a very good point, and it's a very good way to detect it. But va a llegar el momento en que no van a tener una de las expresiones, pero de acuerdo al contexto, ustedes van a ir entendiendo si están hablando del momento o es del futuro, ¿ok? Por este momento vamos a identificar future con el presente continuo utilizando las future expressions para que ubiquemos un poco. Vamos a ir paso a paso ordenando. Entonces, vimos en la primera cosa que vimos ahorita del presente continuo es el primer uso y el más común es para cuando yo hablo, está sucediendo, ¿ok? El segundo uso y el que vamos a ver en este momento es presente continuo para eventos futuros, ¿ok? Ok. For future events, the present continuous uses this uh, future expressions, like tomorrow. What day is the day after tomorrow, guys? What day is the day after Wednesday. tomorrow? Excuse Wednesday. me. Wednesday. Wednesday. Uh -huh. Y como des, dis, dijéramos, como deciéramos, les iba a decir, oh my God. <laughs> One day <¿Cómo>? before yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Como dijéramos, como dijéramos, eh, the day after tomorrow in Spanish. Pasado mañana. Correct. Correct. It's kind of long, but yes, it's pasado mañana, the day after tomorrow. We have another one, right? Next week, next week. Y si se fijan, a todo le podemos poner next, okay? Next week, next month, next Monday, next, next weekend. <laughs> yeah, we can use next <laughs> for future, right? Because next is el próximo, right? El próximo, so the next or next week, next month, next Monday, next weekend. Pero también como el presente continuo es a corto plazo, ok, es un futuro a corto plazo. It could be in an hour, for example, ok, in an hour, en, dentro de una hora, right, in an hour. Later, this evening, we are having a meeting, ok, soon. Soon, it means that it's a short time after this very moment. For example, I could tell you um, I'm drinking coffee soon, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm drinking coffee soon. But invite me. Uh, of course, no problem. I will, I will. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there we go. Ahora, veamos entonces, veamos entonces acá. Si esto lo ponemos con expresiones de futuro, ¿ok? I'm teaching tomorrow. That's the, the first one I told you, right? A ver, you are learning in a future tense. ¿Qué le podríamos agregar acá? You are learning. De las que vimos. English class. The day class. after tomorrow. Um, the day after tomorrow. Ok, great. He is reading. Oh, yes. Uh, you are learning in the English class. Okay. 
He is reading with a future expression. He is correct. He's reading next week. Excellent. Uh, she is writing in the future. Tomorrow. <laughs> Tomorrow. Excellent. So we are using future time expressions. Okay. Now, if you see these pictures that I've got here, we are going to um, try to make a sentence by this image. Okay. He's what censoring is... himself at the phone. Correct. Let's write it down here. Let's type it in. He is answering the phone. Okay, great. What about this one? Uh, she's replying mm -hmm. the email. Okay. Okay, what about this one? They are working on a computer, or in the computer. Okay, what about this one? Mm, you are print, printing the document. Thank you very much, Levin. Okay, guys, look, we are trying to use as much as we can the contractions, okay? Vamos a tratar de utilizar al máximo las contracciones. Why? Because we are going to sound fl more fluently, okay? More fluent. So let's go and let's check this. Just let me remember something. Okay, there we are. Okay, you see, we have to complete the sentences used to, using the given information, okay? Complete the sentences, use the given information. This is the information that you're giving us to complete these sentences, okay? So number one, I, veamos, aquí tenemos, is hiring, is offering, is sending, are celebrating, is attending, are resting, I'm having. 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 Okay. Having, okay, number two. Is attending. The manager's assistant, an invitation email next Monday. Email. No es necesario ponerle a, 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 is, a sending. Is hearing, I think. And, Yes, it is important. And thank you very much. It's a very good observation. It is. I forgot. Okay. Okay. Yes. And it's. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It's sending. Okay. It's sending. No. Sending. No. Tendría que ser reply, teacher. No, because we, here we don't have reply. We have sending. Okay. Uh -huh. Is sending. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. Because she, she because Leamos la, he let's, is per one uh, sending the message. Okay, the manager's and assistant. It, uh -huh, the, in this case, if if I if I do send me the message and I gonna reply you the message. That's it. Yes, of course. Okay. If, yeah, okay. correct. So the manager's assistant is sending an invitation email, un email de invitación, right? An invitation email next Monday. Number three, your boss. Sending. A meeting in an hour. 
a meeting in an hour. Yeah, he's attending. Okay. Is attending. Okay. Lisette, number four. All employees mm -hmm, next Monday. The first one. She doesn't hear her name. <laughs> Lisette. <laughs> you there, Lisette? Vilma, regálenos ayuda. Help us with this. Number four. Carol Yvette, help Vilma, please. Number four. Kalek. Help Carol and Vilma, please. Um, Arresting. R, okay. Arresting. Celebrating. Celebrating. No. Yes. Arresting. Okay. Arresting. Okay. Vamos a verlo. Vamos a verlo. Okay. Veamos. Let's look at number five. Si todos los demás nos concuerdan, era arresting. Okay. So, number five. Number five. The company. Are celebrating. Are celebrating? Are celebrating. Are you sure, guys? Is offering. The company. I think. It's offering. It's offering. Okay, is offering. There we go. Mm -hmm. The HR department, number six. HR. Um, is hearing is hiring hiring yes is hiring está contratando right is hiring the i'm sorry the hr department is hiring new personnel i'm sorry personnel next week number 7 we are 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 celebrating. Celebrating. Okay, now it is, right? We are celebrating. Okay. Ahora quiero que noten algo, todavía tenemos un poquito de tiempito, ya no nos fuimos al break up rooms, I'm so sorry. Mañana vamos a tener dos break up rooms, okay? Va, veamos. Esto es bien importante. Muchas veces, a lot of times, or usually, uh, the learners... English learners have problems with this because we have some rules for the spelling, okay? We have some rules. Tenemos unas reglas para agregar el ing, okay? For example, this verb having, having, el verbo de donde esto viene o el verbo base sería have, ¿verdad? Have. Entonces venimos y la letra E desaparece, right? We drop letter E and just add ing. Miren, ok. Esta es una de las reglas. Los verbos que terminan en esta letra E, solo le quitamos la E, la desaparecemos y agarra ing, ok. De ahí la mayoría de verbos en su, en su grupo general de verbos, que son muchísimos, casi que infinito ya, ¿verdad? <ríe> son un montón. Eh, casi todos solamente agregan el ing. Let's see. Send, sending. Ok. Vamos a ver este. Attend. ¿Cuál sería? Attend, attending. A ver. No. 
Strong no. Sí. A ver, veamos cuál es el verbo de resting. ¿De cuál verbo viene? What's the base verb? Rest. Okay. Rest. Resting. Okay. Offering. Offer. Offer. Okay. Offering. Good. Entonces, si se fijan en su mayoría, todos solo van a agregar el ing, ¿verdad? Uh, en el anterior, uh, no sé dónde fue que les puse, replying, ¿ok? Ese termina, el que siempre nos da un poquito de problema es la y, ¿verdad? The letter y. Esta no la quitamos, ¿ok? Esta no la quitamos. La dejamos, reply. Replying, ok, replying, replying. Mañana vamos a ver eh, lo que continúa de esas eh, normas o reglas de spelling, ok. Ok, is there any question so far? Is there any question about the present continuous? No, yo... Just one rule of six, teacher. Mm, two, two, I think I said. Uh, the, the second one, what? The one what that ends with be? the letter Y. The, with the letter Y. When? You don't drop letter Y. You don't change letter Y. You just uh, add ING. Uh, when, when the Y is at the end. Yes, but not all of them. Not all of them, okay? Uh, ok. Vamos a seguir la misma norma que habíamos conocido antes. ¿Se acuerdan que? <coughs> Perdón. Cuando va con una eh, consonante y cuando va con una vocal, ok? Mañana lo vamos a explicar mejor para que quede más gráfico. Yo les voy a presentar el slide de las normas, ok? Solo lo vamos a ver así en resumida cuenta para que no nos vayamos a complicar con eso porque no es la idea de complicarse, ¿ok? La idea es aprenderlo lo más práctico posible. Ok. We have only five minutes and look at how this work. Look at how this work, the present continuous. Peter and Henry are talking about some activities, ¿ok? Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter. Well, Maria is. But Julie is attending the conference this year too. So I see. But if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentations for the CEO next week? Guess what? I am. I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Sounds great. So I am informing the committee about it. Okay, let's read it again. Hello, Henry, I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter, well, Maria is, but Julie is attending the conference this year too. So I see, but if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentations for the CEO next week? Guess what? I am. I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Sounds great. So I am informing the committee about it. Okay. Is there any question about the vocabulary here? Um, what does it mean with the committee? Committee, el comité. The um, committee, the people on the head, right? No, directions or directors, yeah. Is there any other question about the vocabulary? Teacher, Wes? Who is? Wes? Wes, 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 Wes. Wes, what? Wes, what? Oh, guess. Guess what? Adivinar que? Adivina que? Yes. Uh huh. Es. Okay. Adivina que le dice, okay? Guess what? Eso significa la marca guess, miren. Eso significa la marca guess. Yes. Yeah. And sometimes it has like a question mark, right? 
Guess. Guess what? Sería, adivine qué. Okay. Yo. Yo voy is a there, presentar. Is there any Yo other question? Shortest, no. no more questions about this? Oh. Okay. So, listen to your mm -hmm. teacher again say that. Yeah, it says, <laughs> listen to your teacher with the conversation, then practice Let's with see, a partner. Practice. So we are going to practice. Tomorrow we are rolling this and play, okay? But let's figure this out. Let's complete the following sentences. Use the conversation about to help you. ¿Cómo es que funciona esto para comentar o para expresar cosas, actividades que tenemos que hacer en un tiempo futuro? Tal vez no lejano, sino que en un futuro a corto plazo. Entonces veamos acá. Number one. He is a subject. Is the verb to be. And then, mean? what follows? What is next? ING. Is exactly. ING, right? ING. Vamos a agregar el ING y vamos a ver. Marta Lidia me lee la, um, la oración completa. A ver, number one. He is president, president white and new employee. Correct. He is presenting. Okay. He is presenting. Presenting. Yes. Presenting okay. with yeah. the new employee. Okay. The new Number employee. two. Number two. Let's complete this. Let's complete this. I am. I am. Correct. Oh. So the to be verb, right? Um, um, there you go. I am. Mm -hmm. Candy, In can you read number two, please? We cannot hear you, Candy. Committee. Committee. Mm -hmm. About that. Okay. I am informing the committee about that. Okay. Entonces, finalizando ya la clase. Okay. Subject to be verb, ing, verb form, and the complement. Okay. This is the way to express activities planned for future, okay? Planned for the future. Okay. Yo les voy a enviar un video en donde ustedes, se los voy a enviar ese, aunque más adelante van a ir comprendiendo los otros temas. Pero este es un maestro muy agradable, muy funny, very, very funny, y actúa las, eh, sus videos. Entonces, ahí él nos explica, will, nos explica el going to, y nos explica el present continuous, ¿ok? Ahí vamos a aprender los tres futuros para que veamos la diferencia, porque sí creo que han escuchado y se les puede... Um, venir a la mente así como Levin me preguntaba, ¿verdad? will o going to, y entonces, ¿dónde queda este otro future? Esta es otra manera de expresar el futuro y tiene sus usos muy específicos, ¿ok? Así que yo se los envío, ustedes lo miran y ahí van a ir comprendiendo cosas que no vamos a ver en el, en este nivel, ¿ok? Bien, just let me call the roll and Reinaldo stays with me, ¿ok? Let's see, Amanda, Tell me, Reinaldo. Ok, Amanda, thank you. Teacher, quería ver si podía cambiar el día. Preguntemos, eh, porque tengo chicos. Problema, porque tengo problemas con la conexión y me quedo, estoy quedando sin carga en el teléfono. Ok. ¿Hay alguien que quiera cambiar con Reinaldo? Take a rest, teacher. ¿Perdón? Again, take a rest. Again, 
don't don't do that to me please don't leave me <laughs> alone oh my god no <laughs> no okay it's okay choose if someone you... choose someone teacher choose someone I because know. everybody want to learn the thing is that this is volunteer this is volunteer and if you really need it okay if you really need it if you don't if you think that you don't need it it's okay it's okay but well, this is a very well, good time to practice well, Ahorita voy. 30th, César. Do you want to stay, Julio César? Sí, puedo quedar, teacher. Sí, ok. Sí. Ok, Reinaldo. Ok, no problem. Ah, okay, Then Julio great. accepts. Ok, ah. there we go. So Good. let me Thank call you. the roll to finish. Ok, thank you very much. Now let's see. Caleca Visaí Marinero Asensio. Present teacher. Carol Ivette Chávez Reyes. Present teacher. Cristian uh, Edenilson Ayala Ramírez. Present teacher. Delmi Guadalupe Martínez Marroquín. Present teacher. Edwin Joel Amaya Palacios. Estela Mabel Orellana de Del Cid. Present teacher. Ok. Iris Marina Portillo de Reyes. Present teacher. Okay, one second. Here we go. Permítanme que se me movió esto. Okay. Iris Janet Barrera Herrera. Present teacher. Julio Cesar Ramírez Arevalo. Present. Karen Maricela Rivera de Martínez. Carla Raquel Mendoza Hernández. Present teacher. Kenny Lisset Cuellar de Barrientos. Levin Giovanni Martínez. Present teacher. Lisset del Carmen Hernández Mismit. Marta Lidia Godínez. Present teacher. René Armando Avendaño Pineda. Acaba de salir. Ok. Reinaldo Chávez Guerra. Okay. Alexandra Raquel, ok, Lizeth. Alexandra Raquel Ávila de Axume. Present teacher. Ingrid Yamilet Era Suaranda. Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Present. Carla Yanet García González. María Magdalena Ronquillo Magaña. Present. Ok. Marielos Janet Cornejo Erazo. Vilma Consuelo Guzmán de Girón. Present. Okay, there we go. Thank you very much, guys. Then please do your homework and see you tomorrow. Have a very good night. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Okay, see you. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good night, teacher. Good night. Bye. Bye. Good night, teacher. Hey, good night. Hello, Kenny. Quizá con el celular está conectado. Ajá. Sí, porque no, no la... La voy a estar en el proceso de salir y se ha quedado colgada. <risa> Ajá. Hello, Kenny. Are you there? See you tomorrow, Kenny. Okay, the thing is that this is your time, Julio. One second, please. 
There we go. Okay, here we go. Okay, Julio, tell me, do you have any question that I can help you with? Quizás lo, lo que quizás vi por primera vez es lo, los, los, los ordinales. Okay. Primero, segundo, tercero. Eso sí no, no lo había visto nunca. Quizás debo de, de practicarlo y de ver los más videos. Okay. Para poder entenderlo mejor. ¿verdad? Más que todo cómo se escriben, que es lo que no. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No, no. No puedo, no ahorita. Okay, I understand that. Just let me show you the slide that I showed. Okay, the slide with those numbers. And I'm going just to, just to remind you about what I said that day, okay? Yes, because the dates <clears throat> are always set by using the, the ordinal numbers. And the ordinal numbers are uh, used also to list the steps of a process, for example, or making a list in order, right? So we use the ordinal numbers in a different um, fields, right? Not only for saying the date. So we're going to see this just to, to remind about this thing. Okay. El número uno. Okay. El número uno. El número uno es first. Para decir primero, ¿verdad? First. First, y cuando nosotros, por ejemplo, eh, decimos los primeros tres pasos, ¿verdad? the first three steps, like first, second, and third, first, second, and third, estos son como los más comunes, ¿verdad? Pero son los que usualmente olvidamos cómo se escriben, porque mire, todos los demás, si se fija, a partir del cuatro en adelante, con TH, eso es todo, mire. Uh -huh. Del 4 en adelante. Lo que hace diferente es, perdón, los primeros tres números, first, second, and third, for example. First es el número uno y la terminación, ¿verdad? Si se fija, sí, porque sí, estos sí, llevan sí. TH porque todos terminan con TH. ¿sí? Si uh -huh. terminaran en otro, pues llevará ese otro. Entonces, first, el, la fin, el final es ST. Entonces ponemos el 1. Y el ST. Esto es como que en español pusiéramos el 1 y la O, ¿verdad? Que ponemos, right? Porque en español ponemos así, ¿verdad? Bien, yeah. primero, right? Primero, correcto. Ok, mm -hmm. so in English, our symbol is 1ST. 1ST. So first. Mm -hmm. Second, vamos a poner la finalización de second a la par del 2, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál es la finalización del second? N, D. Entonces, cuando nosotros vemos estos números, vamos a leerlos de esa manera. Si yo veo este número, voy a decir first. Si veo este número, se llama second. Si veo second. solo el número, ¿verdad? Es third, third, third. Y este sonido es muy importante, el TH. Este TH es sumamente importante. Si no, no está diciendo el número ordinal. ¿Ok? Entonces, a partir del 4, todos llevan TH. Mir. All of them. All of them. Right? Entonces, veamos. Del 4 al 10. Veamos estos. Fourth. ¿Ok? Fourth. Fifth. Aquí cambia, ¿verdad? Ya no es five, es fifth. Y sí cambia la escritura, mire, porque allá era five, F-I-V-E, ¿verdad? Correct. Aquí es uh -huh. F-I-F, F-I-F, 
pif. Ok, pif. Y tiene que sonar así. Tiene que sonar esta F. Esa, esa es otra letra que también tenemos problema nosotros, Julio, porque fíjese que la F, no sé si se ha fijado que muchas veces lo hacemos como soplada, ¿verdad? Así, fósforo. ¿verdad? No decimos uh -huh. fósforo. Fósforo. ¿verdad? Entonces, y, y la soplamos la F, ¿verdad? Entonces tenemos que decir F, F, like, F. F. ¿Ok? F. Bien. Exactly, it's a strong sound. No es un sonido suave como el que hacemos nosotros, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Afuera decimos, afuera, afuera. No decimos afuera, ¿verdad? Entonces eso es lo que nos cuesta un poquito acá porque sí tenemos que enrollar un poco la lengua como fifth. No la tenemos en nuestro vocabulario. Uh -huh. okay. Sí, uh -huh. inténtelo y veamos. Fifth. Sí. ¿Verdad que cuesta sí. su cachito? Fifth. Ajá. Pero usted tiene esa ventaja que yo lo escucho, lo escucho que finaliza bien las, las palabras. O sea, cierra las, las T, las S, las uh, D, las cierra. Entonces, practíquelo un poquito más y le va a salir. Fifth. ¿Ok? Ahora, este es otro. Miren, no tenemos palabras casi al final una X con una TH. ¿Verdad? ¿Cómo? Uh -huh. No tenemos. Entonces, six. ¿Ok? Six. 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 Ajá. Six. Por lo menos que se vea que saca la lengua aunque no le haga. ¿Ok? Six. ¿Ok? Que saque la lengua aunque no haga todo el sonidote. ¿verdad? Six. Ah, exactly. Six. Seventh. 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 Excellent. Seventh. Ajá. Eighth. Eighth. Eight. Ajá. Eight. Pero no vamos a decir eight porque entonces estoy diciendo ocho normal. Ocho. Ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces tengo que decir eighth. ¿Ya? Yeah. At the end. Eighth. 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 Uh -huh. eighth. Ninth. 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 Exactly. Ninth. Tenth. Tenth. Uh -huh. Tenth. Uh -huh. Tenth. Pero no vamos a decir tent, porque entonces estoy diciendo tienda de campaña. ¿Ok? Voy a decir tenth. Que por lo menos que me vean que saqué la lengua. A ver. Tenth. <ríe> ya. <Yeah. ríe> Nos cuesta. Nos cuesta decir ese sonido, pero hay que practicarlo, ¿right? We need Hay que to practice that. Yes. Uh -huh. Y así, mire, se va desde el 11 hasta el 20, from the 11th to the 20th, ¿ok? Lo mismo, ¿verdad? Tenemos que tener el cuidado. TH at the end, TH at the end. Y, por ejemplo, en este cambia. Mire, en este, 11 igual, no cambia. 11. Igual, sí. Pero 12 sí cambia, 12, ¿verdad? 12. 12. Lo mismo que nos pasa aquí, ¿verdad? Lo mismo que nos pasa sí. aquí, aquí. Ok, y de ahí para allá, como todos son los teens, right? Teens, teens, all of them. So, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20th. 20th. Okay. 20th. A ver, practíquemelo usted, vamos a ver. From the Desde 11th to the 20th. 11th, uh, 12th, mm -hmm. 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th. Excellent, 20th. Entonces, de aquí para allá, para la escritura de el número en letras, the word number, this is the word number, we use a dash, dash es un guión, dash, between the two dash. words. 20, dash, first, 21st, right? Siempre se escribe con un guioncito, mire. 
todos. ¿ve? Igual después del 30, usted va a poner guioncito first. Ok. So 20 dash first. 21st. 22nd. 23rd. Aquí vuelve, ¿verdad? Vuelve. Todos los que van a llevar el 1, regresa a esto, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces, vamos a ver. 21st, 22nd, 23rd. Diga estos tres. 23rd, 22nd, 23rd. 23rd, ok. Ahora, de igual, igual de acá, mire, del 4, sigue la misma norma, ¿verdad? Sigue la misma norma, tanto de pronunciación como de escritura, ¿me? 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, 30th, ¿ok? 30th. Ter yes. 30th. ¿Quiere decirlos desde el 21st? Sí. Go ahead, please. 23rd, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, excellent, 30th. 30th. Ahí no tenga miedo de hacerlo así. 30th. F at the end. 30th. 20th. Bueno, eso es porque el mes solo tiene 30 y 31 días. Por eso sí, solo bien. lo hemos visto hasta aquí. Pero la norma sigue igual. ¿Ok? Si vamos al for, uh, uh, des, desde el 31 hasta el del, sería del trigésimo primero, ¿verdad? Trigésimo primero. Uh -huh. Hasta el cuadragésimo, ok? Hasta el cuadragésimo sería 31st, 32nd, 33rd, ok? 34th y así volvemos, ¿verdad? 35th, 36th, 37th, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, <laughs> 38th, 39th y aquí ya sería 40th, 40th, ok? 40th. Ajá. Uh -huh. Pero esos son los ordinales ya para que los usemos en otros campos, ¿verdad? Para decir la fecha, debemos conocer hasta 31, right? Hasta 31, right? Because we have, all, the, the month only has 30 or 31 days, okay? Is there any question so far with this topic? Solamente. Solamente, okay. Mm -hmm. um, sí. Para las fechas, para las fechas, aunque nosotros veamos el número así como este, ya no voy a enseñar, así como este, como un cardinal, no lo vamos a leer así, ¿ok? Lo vamos a leer como una fecha completa, ¿verdad? Lo vamos a leer entonces como un ordinal. Por ejemplo, December the 24th of 2021 or 2021. Ok, December the 24th. Aquí no hay TH, ¿verdad? Pero como es fecha, hay que decirlo así. Ok. Mm -hmm. A ver, veamos esta. Let's look at this one. Sería September. Mm -hmm. eh, 50th. Excellent, the 15th. Uh -huh. Of the 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, Uh -huh. Aquí va el nombre, aquí va con el ordinal y aquí va el año con cardinal, ¿ok? ¿Qué es lo que tengo que recordar para la fecha? Las dos palabritas, 
¿verdad? Que siempre se nos olvidan a veces, sería. For example, uh, you said September. Los meses del año siempre se escriben con mayúscula. Hoy, September. Sí. I'm sorry, the 15th. Aquí sería, vale, lo voy a escribir sin comas. The 15th, okay, September, the 15th of 2021. 20, Así. Entonces, esta y esta palabrita que no se nos olviden. The 15th of 2021. Okay. okay. September the 15th of 2021. What date is it today? The or yes, today. Mm -hmm. Sería November. Mm -hmm. The 29th mm -hmm. of 2021. Excellent. You got it. There you are. That's the way to say the date using the ordinal numbers. Okay. Okay. Okay, then. What do you think? Is it, is it okay? Till now? Is it better now? ¿Ya se siente mejor con los ordinales? Sí, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Ok, great. Yeah, yeah, sí. sí, porque sí, nunca lo, lo había visto, pero sí. Ok. Hoy sí, ya un poco más, ya más claro, sí. Ya ok, claro. great. Mm -hmm. Is there any other thing that I can help you with? ¿Habría alguna otra cosa que quisiera que le ayudara yo? Solamente, ahorita por el momento solamente. Okay, great. I mm -hmm. think everything is okay now, right? So, see you tomorrow, Julio. Remember, to do, your, remember to do your homework. Bye-bye. Okay. Good night. Good night.